So I'm going to ask myself when when my trading day finishes in around about five hours from now, about four o'clock on the Friday, I'm going to be winding down for the week. Don't want to be caught in any big positions. And I'm going to ask myself one simple question. Did I trade my plan this week? And if the answer is yes, I'm, I'm not getting off the hook. I'm going to say, okay, find one area that I could seek small improvement and make a point and take an actionable step to put that into practice for Monday. If I didn't trade my plan this week, that's where the work starts because I have to ask myself why. We hear Jordan talk about it all the time. Keep asking why, why, why. If you didn't trade your plan this week, it could be that you were chasing money. It could be that you were afraid of losing. It could be that you were incredibly aggressive. There will be an underlining reason as to why you didn't trade your plan. It could be you enjoyed playing on the computer. It could be you were laying in bed. It could be that you have a full-time job and your job is just to record the results of your plan. But identifying the reason at its core why you didn't trade your plan, that's the work that I'm going to be doing this weekend. And then journal. Journal, 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 find a notepad. Or if you're anything like Aaron, find a spreadsheet, find an Excel sheet, find something on the computer that you can type in and bring to your attention why you're not trading your plan. That's the work I'm going to be doing this weekend. For myself personally, have I traded my plan this week? I hesitate before I say yes. I want to say yes. Why can't I say yes? Because I know deep down there was times that I didn't trade my plan. Why? because I'm transitioning into a discretionary trader. I traded my plan on mechanical setups all week, like clockwork, that's what I do. With the discretionary trades, why didn't I trade my plan? I've written out a plan. I've created a spreadsheet to record my activity and journal around it. I have not filled in a single trade on my discretionary plays this week. Think of the blind side that gives me. Think of the blind spots. There's so many growth opportunities if I go through and journal those trades. I want to make that my main trading activity. I'm in a bootcamp account now in phase two. I'm halfway through that. The account is growing. It's the most beautiful equity curve I've ever seen. Yet, if you say, what are you doing, Rich? I have no data. I have no journaling. I have no information to give me that feedback to know how to compound that. And I can promise you, had I been doing this for four weeks, I would have finished phase one, phase two, phase three. And I would be well into that funded account with that boot camp on those discretionary plays. I'm fearful. That's the problem. I'm fearful of losing because of this beautiful equity curve. I'm fearful of sizing up. Where does that fear come from? It doesn't come from clicking buy or sell. It comes from somewhere deep within. My job as a trader is to find that reason at its core journal around it and the behavior pattern will be fixed as a byproduct big rant from me but that's the message i'd love to leave you all with this week and i think that's a fantastic place to end if you haven't hit that subscribe button what are you doing if you haven't hit that thumbs up button same question what are you doing have a fantastic weekend everyone really really appreciate you all for being here supporting the channel showing up every single day and just rallying behind us because without an audience there is no stream so massive thanks to all of you and we will catch you all on monday have a great weekend see you later